Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in last video I have shown that I have changed my pick and place machine into a Lego style. So I make this a base play board supporting the Lego. You can see here as well this is the Lego and I can actually place it uh, onto that uh, well. And then um, in the last two weeks I was uh, working on converting my old design in to fit um, a more um, to this uh, Lego style. And as you can see last time I'm uh, using the feeder like this. This is the typical strip feeder. Uh, this is 8mm times 4 feeder here. And I'm using that, it was working well and I'm also happy with that. But then um, by using it I still, uh, I'm still slowly realizing there are some uh, problems with this type of uh, feeder. The, the first is uh, this board is uh, converted from the 3D printer um, it is very small, the, the plate. It's a 22 by 22 centimeters. So therefore, um, if I'm using this kind of uh, um, feeder, then it's actually taking up a lot of space. And every time I need to cut the tape here and then put it into the feeder and then whenever the, the tape is used up, I need to then cut it again and then feed inside. So and in this process, it's quite um, easy to create a bouncing components, which uh, is really a um, challenging problem, let's say. And then um, it also takes up uh, uh, more space because uh, uh, with a small board, I can only put several ones. Um, I think I counted last time it was uh, 24 8 millimeter strip and, also, and then maybe 9, uh, 12 millimeter. So um, with this um, challenge in mind, so I actually redesigned it in the last two weeks. The feeder, the new feeder, and it's this one, as you can see. Uh, I call it the cassette feeder. Um, so it's, it's like this. It's actually quite small. And because it's uh, the Lego style, so it's uh, easier to put into whatever place. Uh, that you, that we want so yeah for example like this and then uh, the good thing about this one is it's actually small and whenever uh, the component is being used up and then we can just uh, drag it out and then cut off the one that is used and then continue use and because it's quite small um, you might wonder okay maybe it's not keeping um, enough components, but actually um, it's it, it can keep a, a lot of uh, components inside. So as you can see here, um, it's it's a much much more longer than the feeder I have used before. So it's like that. It's a much it has a much more longer uh, capacity. And when I checked for O two O one components. I can actually keep uh, uh, about 300 uh, components in there and then to, to just use it, it's also quite easy to just uh, uh, put a component inside. So uh, whatever I do, I just uh, prepare uh, actually quite some of these components into the cassette feeder and then I, st I can store it somewhere and I can also mark it uh, what kind of component it is and whenever I need it or I need to swap out I can just uh, take this uh, away take this uh, uh, cassette away and then put it into the position I, I want so this is uh, basically the uh, improvement I've done so this makes me um, quite easy to manage all the components and I have um, um, I actually counted for uh, if I put all these components to the full board I can actually manage to put 40 around 40 components um, into into here into the small uh, spaces and then I uh, it's also easy to design different size you can design for example this is like a 12 millimeter strip feeder and later if if we want we can also um, use the 16 millimeter uh, feeders cassette feeders so and this is one thing i have done so the other thing is you can see in order it's it's a little bit higher 
In order to adapt the high, I actually redesigned also the other components, for example, like fiducia here. This is the fiducia I have, um, I have done. And it's also quite easy to, to mount and it's also stable, quite stable here. And then also I raised the, the uh, PCB to the same level of height and also redesigned, I'm also redesigned the camera component uh, here. You can see it's also quite easy to mount and then to take it, out, take it off. So yeah, which makes it very flexible. And if you want, you can also put more Lego parts in here just to, um, I don't know, to increase the height or to adapt to different shape. Um, yeah, something like that. I think it could be very uh, flexible. And the other thing is I also make, a, um, I plan to make a new adapter for my CR10 printer and yeah, that will yet to come. And if you are interested, you can also leave in the comment what kind of a printer uh, would be worth to adapt. I'm also thinking about adapting to different other um, 3D printers. And uh, yeah, when I'm currently I'm testing those components heavily. And as soon as it has been um, stable, I, I, can, I feel that it's stable enough, then I will release it. Um, I will also put those information into my website, which is uh, still under construction. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. So if you are interested, you like my video, then please uh, like and subscribe, and then uh, I will keep updating. Um, so thank you very much and see you next time.